welcome to another episode of the Meal Prep Monday podcast. I'm your host and founder of Prep Dish, Allison Schaff. Today we are wrapping up our Meal Prep Basics series here in April and talking about crock pots versus instant pots. Before we dive into today's episode, I wanted to read a happy customer share from Nicole from Texas. She writes, had to share that tomorrow is my last day of the Whole30 and I'm about to sign up for your paleo menus. Between your amazing food and my amazing husband prepping and cooking every dish, my knee pain is gone and all in all, I feel tons better. The way you have everything organized has really worked for us and we're finding we don't waste near as much food. I can't tell you how many times we've bought the ingredients for a meal, never made it, and then the meat or veggies go bad. So anyway, this is the best meal prep solution ever, and I just want to thank you for it. Thank you for sharing, Nicole, and I hope you enjoy the paleo plans. So it sounds like she was using our one-time kind of four to five week series of reset menus, which are Whole30 approved. I can link those in the show notes if you're interested in those specifically, or if you just want to try out the service as a whole, the best place to start is with our two-week free trial, and that can be found at prepdish.com slash MPM, short for Meal Prep Monday. Okay, let's dive in to Instant Pot versus Crock Pot. So here at Prep Dish, I've no, I mentioned this in the past if you're a longtime listener, but a lot of these things we we do think a lot about, right? Like when we're creating these meal plans and these recipes, I want to make sure they are approachable. I want to make sure it's something that the home cook can do easily and has the right equipment for. And a big debate we've had for years is, you know, can we use Instant Pot or do all of our customers have an instant pot. We've done surveys in the past and the majority of all customers have one, at least one of the instant pot or crock pot. Um, but a lot of them don't have both. And even though I think the majority do have an instant pot, it's like not, it wasn't 90% last time we, um, did the survey. So we try and make sure that the recipes are such that they can be used by either, but like an instant pot is not required. It's just like, Hey, one or the other, Um, is really ideal, but you do not need to have both. So for figuring out which one to use, for this discussion, I would actually say what it comes down the most to for me is timing. So to me, like Crock-Pot, if you want to start something in the morning, like first thing in the morning before you go to work, mid-morning, if you like, if you work from home, crock pot is going to be great for that. And granted an instant pot does have the crock pot feature, but there is something nice about like, I've talked about this on my rice cooker episode. I love when (laughs) I have a piece of equipment that I can just turn, like there's just an on off switch. And so crock pots are nice. It's like low, high kind of on off. And that's same thing with, you know, the rice cooker. I go with the rice cooker where it's just an on button. That's all there is. No fancy like digital displays or anything like that. So I love kind of the ease and simplicity of a crock pot. And if you're starting something in the morning, that's great. For me personally, I find I use my instant pot a lot more. And I think it's because there are a lot of times, even though I am a morning person, I'm not usually like reviewing what I'm having for dinner first thing in the morning. Like I'm trying to get to my day. I'm trying to get to work. It's more mid afternoon when I'm starting to like, even if I've had the meal plan, that's what I can start kind of pulling it together. So for me, the instant pot works great because I could, you know, if I start at kind of two o'clock in the afternoon when I'm, you know, kind of wrapping up work or my productivity has dropped and I need kind of, uh, some time away from my computer, that's a great time for me to duck into the kitchen and, you know, kind of finish up dinner. And then that way I can, you know, before dinner, spend more time with my kids and, that kind of rhythm works really well for me. So I think when I'm looking at this question, if you were trying to figure out instant pot versus crock pot, I would really figure out your schedule and your timing. You know, this may vary kind of season to season, year to year on when you're at home and what works best for you. If you have kids, when they nap, all of those things come into play here. Um, But I really look at it when comparing the two as like a timing issue there. 
That being said, so with the crock pot, because usually I think of crock pot as like an all day kind of six to eight hour window that you need for most of the meats that are cooked in there. An exception being, and this is this is actually what put this on my mind to talk about. We have been doing some crock pot meatballs on our menus lately, and those really require like a three to four hour window. And we put them on, on the menus this year, but my concern was, you know, how many people will, will this work for? That window works really good for me, but I work from home. And if I didn't work from home, that would be a really tricky window to work off of. Now, that being said, you could probably start in the morning and they'd probably still be okay eight hours later. But I, I think ideally those meatballs would be in there kind of for that three to four hour window. So just something, you know, that we've been trying to figure out in terms of timing on the meal plans, you know, do people want to do the morning of or the afternoon and knowing, you know, once you know your timing, a lot of recipes are flexible to where you could put it in the crock pot or you could put it, even if it's not written up as, so we don't write our recipes up typically right now, this may change in the future, but as I'm recording this, we tend to use the crock pot, just knowing that even if someone has an instant pot, they could still use it. But plenty of our customers will use their instant pot and just adjust the instructions to do the instant pot version and do it at, in the evening. And they still have plenty of time for it to cook as if it were cooked in a crock pot all day. So um, we found that most of their, our instant pot users are pretty savvy at just adjusting recipes. And if not, they our Facebook group, that's something that comes up sometimes is some help with editing recipes to make them instant pot friendly. So that is what I look at when I look at a comparison between the two is a timing comparison. And then of course I could go more into depth on, you know, the instant pot obviously has a lot more features than a crock pot does not, but I'm not going to go into that in today's episode. I may have had a previous episode on that. If I do, um, I'll make sure and link that in the show notes, just if you're curious, if you don't have an Instant Pot and are looking for more details on that, and that's something you're considering, you can find that there. So that is all I have for today's episode. If you are a longtime listener, I would just love it if you could leave a rating and review. It just helps other people to find this podcast and gets us in front of more listeners. So if you have a few minutes today and could do that, I would really appreciate your time in doing that. That is all I have for today. I will be back again next Monday with another episode. 